On today's IRS tax refund update, with just three months until the start of the tax season, we will take a look at the latest developments with those ongoing delays impacting many who are still waiting on this year's tax refunds. And from there, we will recap amended tax returns and key problems impacting many of our viewers, such as the 570 tax transcript codes, refund holds due to wage verification, and the top notices being sent out by the IRS. Starting off with the latest, as the next batch of tax refunds is scheduled for release on October 30th and November 1st, as confirmed by the tax transcript seen here, if you have opted to receive your refund via direct deposit, expect to receive that refund by the posted date on the transcript. However, you will need to wait an additional five days to receive it before initiating a payment trace with the IRS in the event you do not see it post to your bank account. And if you have chosen to receive a paper check, while most will receive within 7 to 10 days, you must wait 30 days before filing a payment trace with the IRS. Also do note that not all refund status results will update even after the refund has been cleared for release. So it is important to check your tax transcript for the most up-to-date information on your refund status. Moving on to those tax refund delays, as we continue to hear from viewers who are still encountering the 570 and 971 tax transcripts, as seen here, showing two separate dates listed. Now in the case of this viewer, the tax return has been placed on hold for additional review, which is reflected by the 570 code, and the 971 code represents the letter that will be sent out about the potential issue which should be received by November 11th. Now, if the IRS was able to autocorrect or resolve any potential issues themselves, this viewer's transcript would have showed the 570 and 971 codes appear with the same dates listed next to them, and possibly the 571 action resolved code. However, as we have seen in numerous cases, the issue can be resolved and refund cleared without seeing the 571 code appearing. Now the transcript itself will not explain what the potential issue is, However, the clear majority of cases this late in the year have to do with the wage and or tax withholding verification, where the IRS needs to confirm what you entered on your tax return for accuracy, which could be due to the IRS computer system identifying a potential mismatch in what you reported versus what your employer reported. Or it could simply be your tax return was randomly selected even if you have never had tax issues in the past. Meanwhile, moving on to amended returns as we have received this amended return status update on the right-hand side of the screen from one of our viewers showing there, amended return was received by the IRS on July 23rd. It was adjusted on October 4th and was completed on October 25th with an overall processing time of about three months. Now, this is in comparison to the viewer submitted amended return results on the left from last year, which showed nearly a six-month overall processing time, which confirms amended return. Processing has in fact improved from previous years, including 2021 and 2022, when amended returns were averaging close to one year to be processed. Hearing from our viewers, these three IRS notices continue to be reported as the most received and can directly relate to why many of you are experiencing the 570 code on your tax transcripts, including a letter in the CP05 series, which indicates the IRS has detected information that was entered on the tax return, is incorrect, and they are now requesting documentation from the taxpayer to substantiate what was entered primarily income and tax withholding information. And it is extremely important you provide the relevant information immediately to the IRS so they can determine if there was in fact an error as what refund amount should be released. The second notice would be one in the CP75 series, and this often has to do with a credit being claimed on the tax return, such as the earned income tax credit, and the need to provide documentation, especially around dependents, in order to determine if one is in fact eligible to claim such a credit. Now, if you do not submit the requested paperwork, the IRS will deny your claim for the credit and reduce your anticipated refund as a result. And the third notice received by many is IRS Letter 2644EC, also known as the 60-day notice, indicating the IRS needs additional time to process the tax return, often indicating they are waiting for the tax filers. Tax information to be available on their computer system, which usually relates to income reports from your employer or other issuers of tax forms sent to you. And it is not uncommon if you receive multiple letters while you wait. It is recommended if you receive a second letter to reach out to the IRS or taxpayer advocate to determine what documentation they are waiting on as there is chance. They will allow you to submit it electronically so that tax processing can continue and that refund ultimately released. 
Let us know in the comment section below about your ongoing tax issue. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.